You grab your pitchfork, put on your bandana, and choose your favorite anti-vax t-shirt. Your name is and this is your story. Hey guys, my name is Conovan. Uh, hope you're staying safe. Uh, fucking dumb people. Unfortunately, they exist. Why? Well, because of Facebook. It's the plain, simple, old reason. It's Facebook. Uh, well, you've read the title, so I won't repeat it. But what we have to ask ourselves is, why 5G? Out of all the things, why 5G? You know, because it's exactly like 4G, but with an extra G. It's just a step above 4G. It brings faster speeds and greater bandwidth and all of that, you know, good stuff. Uh, but according to some very dumb people from Facebook, 5G is apparently a super evil bioweapon of mass destruction that was created to spread COVID-19. It's it's very serious to them. Um, I mean, to me, it, it's just the fucking internet. But to them, it's some very, very serious stuff. We really can't fathom the dangers of fast internet. Fucking black helicopters, and they faked the moon landing, Obama's a lizard person, and finally, internet. It's all bad for you. That's the conspiracy theory. All right, well, it's 2 a.m. My wife just left me for a boyfriend. Uh, this is the perfect time to go through all of the evidence. Firstly, China. Uh, China is a particularly small country, it's right between Mongolia and Taiwan. Uh, it's not super well known internationally, but basically, right at the start of this year, a Chinese guy in Wuhan decided to have a succulent Chinese meal. And then, you know, fast forward a few months and a third of the planet is in quarantine. Uh, so we've had bushfires, global pandemic, and recently Cardinal Pell just broke out of prison. So it's been a pretty shit year so far. Anyway, what the very smart people from Facebook realized was that COVID-19 happened around about the same time that the Chinese started to put up 5G towers, give or take a few months. So obviously, because there's a correlation, there's obviously a causation, because that's how science works. Uh, let me just say that I have a complete trust in the human race. I'm sure that when people found out that there was a very weak link between this pandemic and 5G, I'm sure people acted calm and rationally with intelligence. At least 20 UK phone masks vandalized over false 5G coronavirus claims. Good job, human race. You really did it this time. Now, the problem is that, unfortunately, through the internet, dumb people, such as myself, have the power to spread whatever bullshit we can, even though it's all bullshit. Now, take a look at this and just keep in mind that thousands of people have seen this. What we're seeing with these cases in Wuhan, we've all seen it on social media, is these people suddenly just fall over. I have never seen a patient be walking along and suddenly fall over because they've got pneumonia. It just doesn't happen. However, it does happen with 5G. On your oxygen molecules, the little electrons with 5G, they start to like oscillate. So this, this 5G is absorbing the oxygen and then your hemoglobin can't take up the oxygen. Now, the radio show that broadcasted this woman actually got a warning from the UK government telling them how you know, much of a fucking idiot they were. Uh, but that doesn't stop them from spreading all of this shitty shittiness into the World Wide Web, which, you know, as we know, is just shit. But these Karens, they've spent far too long underground. It's time for them to emerge back into daylight, even though they're not supposed to, just to annoy people who are making minimum wage. Do you work for the NHS? Uh, no. Who do you work for? For community fiber. So what are you laying? Fiber. So I don't understand, it's not essential and you don't work for the NHS, so why are you doing it? Does it not negate the government's guidelines? Yeah, if you want to make a complaint... Who do I complain to? Who's, who's your boss? But do you know what you're doing now? You're laying 5G, so what, you know that kills people. You know when they turn this on, it's going to kill everyone and that's why they're building the hospitals. Every how do you feel? Do you have children? Uh, no, I'm young. Do you have parents? Well, how do you feel that when, you, when they turn that switch on, bye bye mama, are you, are you content to continue doing that job? Are they paying you well enough to kill her? You've just admitted that you're laying 5G. So that's basically why we're all inside, why you've got free reign of London. No? Everybody is one 5G. Well, everyone will be dead. So who's going to be playing on the internet? And who's going to be on their Playstations? We'll all be in hospital with, um, on breathing apparatus. 
Why do you think they're building 25,000 sort of um, concentration camps of death in the London Excel right now? It's because of this wire here. Uh, so now you're probably wondering, what are we to do with these dumbass people? You know, can we put them in a zoo? No, that's illegal. Can we cover them in a blanket? No, there's just too many of them. Um, at the end of the day, just remember that these are the people who are in power. Do you remember that radio host from the start? In five years from now, she's going to be a lawyer. You know that lady who was harassing that worker? She's going to be the prime minister soon. Uh, so this is the part of the video where I reiterate the importance of self-isolation in these really difficult times. Uh, now have a look at this curve. As you can see, we all die, and there's nothing we can do about that. But if we get sick over a slower period of time, we still die, but our hospitals don't go over capacity, which is a lot more preferable. Uh, but anyway, my name is Conovan. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe it. And you know, cheers. Bye.